Hi, I'm Dave Salahi. I'm going to share some tips and techniques for using the Pilotfly H1 Plus Gimbal Stabilizer. I've got one tip about mounting the GH4 with its 12 to 35 millimeter lens specifically onto the stabilizer and some other information that applies to any camera. What I'm going to show is a workaround that I developed to allow me to mount my GH4 with its Panasonic 12 to 35 millimeter lens at the correct position on the H1 Plus. It's important to take the time to get the optimum mounting position because balancing the camera properly prevents problems like overheating of the motors and oscillations that can occur otherwise. For this camera and lens I found that I need to mount the camera as far back as it's possible to go. But there's a problem with the way this semicircular bale is attached to the screw that attaches the camera to the stabilizer. If you look at the bottom of the mounting platform where the yellow arrow is pointing, you can see that there is some paint scraped off. This is a result of tightening the screw with the camera positioned all the way back. The problem is that the edge of the semicircular bale pointed to by the red arrow pushes against the ridge at the bottom when tightening and scrapes it. This will all become clear in a moment when I show video of the technique I used to work around this problem, but I wanted to sh start with this still shot because I can't get a clear detailed shot in video mode with my B camera, my Fujifilm X20. Now onto the video. The previous shot showed the screw in its tightened position. This shot shows the screw in position just before being fully tightened. Before I tighten it, I'm going to push the camera forward a bit so that the semicircular bale will clear the edge of the camera platform at the bottom. Okay, here I am. I'm pushing the camera forward just a little bit. It only needs about an eighth of an inch to clear that area, and I'm almost there. There, I've, I've just about got it now. Uh, now I can tighten the screw, and that's almost fully tightened. I'm going to leave, leaving just a little bit of play in it so that I can then push the camera back again to where it really needs to be, all the way back, and now I can finally tighten it the rest of the way. Even with this mounting position, I should note that I can only use the H1 Plus stabilizer with the lens zoomed all the way out. If I zoom in, the lens lengthens, and this makes the camera front heavy, which unbalances the gimbal. This isn't really much of a problem, because I would usually want to shoot zoomed all the way out at 12 millimeters anyway. But it's just something I thought you might want to know. And for reference, the GH4 is a micro four-thirds camera, so the 35 millimeter equivalent of 12 millimeters is 24 millimeters. Now that I've got the camera mounted, this might be a good time to mention one of the problems of a stabilizer like the Pilotfly H1 Plus. Namely, that the roll axis motor blocks the operator's view of the LCD panel. My usual workaround is to hold the stabilizer lower than I otherwise would so that I can see through the gap between the motor and the LCD panel. This works up to a point, but of course sometimes you need to move the camera to a different position where the view is again blocked. Now, if you're left-handed or ambidextrous, you can hold the stabilizer in your left hand and have a mostly unobstructed view. I should point out that this problem isn't exclusive to the pilot fly. Lots of stabilizers have this problem. To finish up, I want to show how to hook up the H1 Plus to a PC to use the free simple BGC app you'll need if you want to tune your stabilizer for your camera and lens combination. This is also useful if you want to tune the stabilizer's response to work better with your particular shoot. Sometimes you might want the stabilizer to respond quickly to any motion in order to keep the subject in the frame. Of course, responding quickly means making the motion less smooth, but sometimes that's what you need. On the other hand, if your shot needs the stabilizer to respond more smoothly, you can tune it for that behavior instead. Either way, you'll need to connect the stabilizer to a device running the simple BGC software. There are two ways to do this. One is to connect the stabilizer to your PC, Mac, or Linux box using a micro USB cable. The connector is on the side of the roll motor. Once, you con once you've connected the cable, you then need to connect to the device through the USB connection using a virtual COM port. Or instead of using a cable, you can connect to the Android app using Bluetooth. There's another scenario I describe in my blog post where you might need to use the simple BGC software also. That's to get your Pilotfly H1 Plus working again in case the settings get messed up. 
That's what happened to my stabilizer. Fortunately, with help from Pilot Flight Tech Support, I was able to use the software to get back up and running. For more info, see the Pilot Fly and Simple BGC documentation. Links for these and other resources are in my blog post, and a link to my blog post is in the, is in the description below.